Hey there, Sagittarius. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of October 17th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrodraw.com again. And uh, we updated a lot of things, added a bunch of new readers. And thank you, everyone who has already gone and checked it out and supported it and still uses it. Really, I really appreciate it. Mostly all the new readers and things like that that are getting new subscribers really appreciate it as well. I've been receiving some feedback on it and, and people are very happy. So uh, that was the goal, so I'm glad that everybody is doing that. But let's see what's going on for you this week. You start off with the three clubs. This card can represent second chances and having a bunch of second chances coming in for you, so I like to see that. Uh, it can represent things coming back. Also a great card for any of you involved in anything like writing, um, anything creative, anything artistic, anything involving teaching. Um, even if you're involved in things like marketing, you know, which is a form of creativity, if you use your creativity there, this is an awesome card. It gives you just a little bit of extra kind of energy for the week in those areas and kind of allows you to see some improvements there as well. Next, you have the Five of Diamonds. <clears throat> this is a very good money card and a very good card for selling things or exchanging things in general. This card represents exchanges, uh, exchanges of energy. And it can also be even a good love card as well. Even though it's a money card, um, you know, love is an exchange. So it can be great for relationships, seeing new relationships, um, taking a relationship to the next level, all those things. Not only that, it is a great card for settlements. If you are involved in anything legal and you're waiting for some sort of settlement or agreement, this card is a card that kind of can make some things happen in those areas of your life as well. So really like to see this card and just a great card for starting anything new. If I didn't say that, I feel like I said that, but maybe not. If I didn't, it's a great card for starting new things in general. Next, you have the Six of Spades, another great card of uh, improvements and incremental improvements. This card, it can be a little slow. I mean, it's a card of building momentum. It says things are kind of building up under the surface for you, but it, it is a card of improvements and things slowly getting better and improving. So again, improvements. I like to see that for you as well. It can also, there's like a flip side to the card in a lot of ways. It can be a, in that I'm kind of feeling this week. So it can be a card of problems involved in the home. So avoid all arguments at the home. Do not get involved in arguments. Don't chart, don't Start arguments with your children, your spouse, your anything, your roommate. Uh, avoid, you know, avoid conflict at all costs with the six of spades coming in here because everybody loses um, with this card. And finally, you have the six of diamonds. Really great card for improvements in finances, growing your finances, planning your finances, structuring debts as well comes up under this card you could maybe restructure your debt lower your debt all sorts of things with this card uh, and you could even pay off like loans and things like that um, actually there's usually a benefit to paying off loans under six of diamonds because it'll you know it's kind of one of those things where maybe you pay it off early and then you're allowed to pay off less or you know something like that so uh, maybe look into doing that this week with this card but looks like a great week mostly of improvements and new things coming in so thank you for watching and enjoy your week